The history of the socialist movement in Brazil is generally thought to trace back to the first half of the 19th century. There are documents evidencing the diffusion of socialist ideas since then, but these were, however, individual initiatives with no ability to form groups with actual political activism. History Old Republic In 1892 the first Socialist Congress of Brazil occurred in Rio de Janeiro. Later that year, in São Paulo, another Socialist Congress, independent from the latter, took place. That same year the Workers' Socialist Party Partido Operario Socialista was founded in Rio de Janeiro. This is considered to be the first Socialist Party in Brazil. In 1895, also in Rio, the Socialist Workers' Party Partido Socialista Operario was founded. That same year, Silvério Fontes, considered the first Brazilian Marxist, launched the Socialist Center of Santos, which soon published the socialist magazine A Questão Social the Social Question and newspaper O Socialista the, socialist. the first major socialist party of the country was founded in 1902 in São Paulo, under the auspicious of Italian immigrant Alcebiades Bertolotti, who was once responsible for Avanti, the official newspaper of the Italian Socialist Party. That same year, the Socialist Collective Party Partido Socialista Calitavista was founded in Rio de Janeiro, headed by Vicente de Souza, a teacher at the Colegio Pedro II, and Gustavo Lacerda, a journalist and founder of the Brazilian Press Association Associação Brasileira de Imprensa, Abbey. In 1906, the Independent Workers' Party Partido Operario Independente was founded, it created a popular university which had Rocha Pombo, Manuel Bomfim, and José Verissimo as teachers. The diffusion of socialist ideas increased during the First World War, but most of the Brazilian left-wing groups were still alienated from the general public. In June 1916, Francisco Vieira da Silva, Toledo de Loyola, Alonso Costa, and Mariano Garcia launched the Manifesto of the Brazilian Socialist Party Manifesto do Partido Socialista Brasileiro. On May 1 of the following year, the Manifesto of the Socialist Party of Brazil Manifesto do Partido Socialista do Brasil was launched, signed by Nestor Pixoto de Oliveira, Isaac Isaacson, and Murillo Araujo. This group launched Evaristo de Moraes to the House of Representatives and published two newspapers, Folha Nova the New Leaf and Tempos Novos New Times, both short-lived. In December 1919, the Socialist League Liga Socialista was formed in Rio de Janeiro. Its members started publishing the magazine Clarte in 1921, with the support of Evaristo de Moraes, Mauricio de Lacerda, Nicanor do Nascimento, Agrippino Nazare, Leonidas de Resende, Pontes de Miranda, among others. The group would extend its influence to São Paulo, with Nehru Rangel Pastana, and to Recife, with Joaquim Pimenta. In 1925 a new Brazilian Socialist Party Partido Socialista do Brasil was launched, also formed by the group led by Evaristo de Moraes, the foundation of the Brazilian Communist Party Partido Comunista Brasileiro, PCB, in 1922 and its rapid growth suffocated the dozens of anarchist organizations which had played an important role in staging major strikes during the previous decade. PCB staged major strikes throughout the 1920s. Also during that period before the 1930 revolution and Getulio Vargas' rise to power, Mauricio de la Cerda launched the short-lived United Front of the Left Fente Unida das Esquerdas, whose purpose was to write a draft socialist constitution for Brazil. The political agitation of the period included a movement in the Tenant Revolts context led by future communist leader Luis Carlos Prestes. Also, as a part of the Tenant Revolts, a short-lived commune was formed in Manaus. Prestes was invited by Vargas to lead the military efforts of his uprising against the São Paulo oligarchy, but he refused, he was against an alliance between tenants and dissident oligarchs. He exiled himself in the Soviet Union and was admitted as a member of PCB. In Moscow, he accepted the task, proposed by the Comintern, of leading a communist upheaval in Brazil. <laughs> Vargas era 1930-1945. Political activity was highly repressed during the Vargas regime. On November 23 to 27, 1935, Prest's upheaval Intentona Comunista took place in Natal, Recife, and Rio de Janeiro almost simultaneously. 
It was led by the National Liberation Alliance Alianca Nacional Libertadora, ANL, an organization which gathered anti-fascist socialist, communist, liberals, progressive and nationalist military officers. In Natal, the rebels even formed a military junta which ruled the city for four days. According to the official Vargas government account, the rebels killed 32 military officers in Rio de Janeiro, but the event is still questioned. The repression of the uprising resulted not only in the arrest of communist militants involved in it but also the persecution of popular forces in general. In 1936, Prestes and his wife, Olga Benario Prestes, then pregnant, were arrested as a result of their participation in the upheaval. Benario, a Jewish-German-Brazilian communist militant, was deported by the Vargas regime to Nazi Germany. Benario was eventually killed at the Bernberg Euthanasia Center in 1942. She had given birth at the facility a few years earlier and her daughter, Anita Leocadia Prestes, was handed to Brazilian authorities by the Nazis at age one. With her father still in jail upon her arrival in Brazil, she was raised by her paternal grandmother Leocadia Prestes. Another victim of the Vargas regime was the Italian-Brazilian anarchist Orest Ristori, deported to the Kingdom of Italy in 1936 and killed by fascist police officers on December 2, 1943. In 1937, Vargas imposed a fourth constitution for the country, the so-called Palaca, after his government denounced that international military forces were trying to make a «socialist revolution» in Brazil, in what became known as Plano Cohen. This false claim was a pretext for Vargas to perpetuate himself in power. Written by Justice Minister Francisco Campos, the Polaca was inspired by the authoritarian April Constitution of Poland, and was intended to consolidate the executive branch over the legislative and judiciary, implementing what became known as the Estado Novo regime. Polaca banned all political parties, implemented censorship in the press, and suppressed even further the organized movements of workers and of the society in general. Topic. Second Republic 1945 After the end of the Vargas regime in 1945, socialist ideas started developing again in the post-war period with the creation of the Democratic Left Democratica Party, which was eventually registered as the Brasilian Socialist Party Partido Socialista Brasileiro, PSB, on the Electoral Justice Court in August 1947. The PCB was also re-legalized, but the fear of communism also increased among the middle and upper classes in the context of the Cold War. In 1946, Luis Carlos Prestes became the first self-proclaimed communist senator of Brazil, a feat which would only be repeated 60 years later, when Inácio Arruda was elected to represent Syrah. By 1947, the PCB had nearly 200,000 members, having received 480,000 votes nearly 9% of the total in that year's legislative election. The party, however, was denounced as being "...internationalist, and therefore not committed to Brazil's own interests," by Eurico Gaspar Dutra in 1948, having its license revoked by the Electoral Justice Court. In 1956, clashes emerged in the party after Nikita Khrushchev denounced Joseph Stalin's policies at the 20th Congress of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. The factionalization of the PCB accelerated after a new manifesto was approved in 1958, proposing new ways of achieving communist goals, linking the establishment of socialism to the broadening of democracy. Some of its top leaders, dissatisfied with this guidelines, quit PCB and formed a new party, Communist Party of Brazil Partido Comunista do Brasil, PCDOB, in 1962. As a result, both parties claim to have been established in 1922. In 1955, the Latin American Episcopal Conference Consulo Episcopal Latino Americano, CELAM, was created in Rio de Janeiro. It pushed the Second Vatican Council 1962 toward a more socially oriented stance. CELAM is the main basis for the foundation of the liberation theology, which would play a significant role on the Brazilian left in the following decades, before declining in the late 1990s. In 1961, after the resignation of Hanio Quadros, Vice President João Goulart, a social democrat with popular reform proposals, took office. He would, however, rule the country de facto only in 1963, after a referendum ended the parliamentary system approved by the Congress to prevent the military forces from overthrowing him from office due to his progressive views. 
During Goulart's government, PSB's president João Mangabera became justice minister. A military coup in 1964 deposed Goulart under charges that he was leading a socialist revolution with his basic reforms reformas de base program. Goulart's biggest political opponent, and coup supporter, was Carlos Lacerda, son of Mauricio de Lacerda, founder of PCB who later joined the National Democratic Union União Democrática Nacional, UDN, an anti-communist party. Military dictatorship 1964 With the 1964 coup, all political parties were banned, and socialist organizations had to act clandestinely once again. The creation of bipartisanship in 1965 by a presidential decree allowed moderate left-wing politicians to join the Brazilian Democratic Movement Movimento Democrático Brasileiro, MDB, the party of consented opposition to the military regime. In the second half of the 1960s and all through the 1970s, socialists and other opposition groups to the military dictatorship suffered relentless persecution. The vast majority of militants in armed organizations that fought the regime professed socialist ideas, ranging from Leninism to Maoism. As during the Vargas dictatorship, the guerrilla warfare carried out by communist groups was used by the regime's propaganda as a justification for repression. The slow redemocratization process initiated by Ernesto Geisel in the second half of the 1970s yielded its first gains on the following decade, when socialist and communist parties were once again able to organize freely and stand their own candidates. In January 1979, at the 11 Steelworkers Congress, the proposal to launch the Workers' Party Partido dos Trabalhadores, PT, a democratic socialist party, was made. Its official foundation would occur a year later at the Catholic school Colegio Sion High School in São Paulo. PT is a result of the approach between trade unionists of the Central Unica dos Trabalhadores cut, intellectuals, artists, Catholics influenced by liberation theology, and the old Brazilian left. The party, however, can be described as a new left party, once it refused taking the path of the old Latin American left, in the form of the guerrilla movement or Stalinism. In 1984, the Landless Workers Movement was created as a reaction to the military regime's failed land reform program. This socialist group grew rapidly, becoming the largest social movement organization in Latin America, with an estimated 1.5 million members organized in 23 out of Brazil's 26 states. PT and MST have been closely linked to each other since the mid-1980s, but have grown apart in recent years. Topic. New Republic 1985 present. In 1988, Rubber Tapper, unionist and environmental activist Chico Mendes, a member of the PT and an icon of the struggle for preservation of the Amazon rainforest was assassinated in his house in Zapari, Acre. He is recognized today as one of the first leaders of the Brazilian eco-socialism movement. In the 1989 election, the PT formed a socialist coalition with the PSB and PC do B and had Luis Inácio Lula da Silva as its presidential candidate. Although feared by the elite for proposing land reform, Lula declared that neither him or his party have ever been Marxist in a televised debate. The Democratic Socialist Democratic Labour Party Partido Democrático Trabalhista, PDT, the only Brazilian member of the Socialist International, which claimed to be the actual heir of Goulart's and Vargas Brazilian Labour Party Partido Trabalhista Brasileiro, PTB, launched Lionel Brizola as their presidential candidate. Lula narrowly beat Brizola in the first round and went on to the second round of the election, losing to neoliberal candidate Fernando Collor de Mello. After two unsuccessful attempts losing both to Fernando Henrique Cardozo, a social democrat, who soon adhered to the third-way neoliberal agenda, Lula was eventually elected in 2002. In spite of criticism of his government for alliances with right-wing politicians and practicing some unorthodox neoliberal politics, which caused the departure of some factions of the PT, Lula claims he still has socialist skills. A major departure from his government and his party was from the group which created the Socialism and Liberty Party Partido Socialismo e Liberdade, PSOL. In 2010, PT's Dilma Rousseff was elected the first female president of Brazil. 
During her term, there were widespread protests for better living standards, in which PT was criticized for distancing itself from social movements and youth organizations. For many, it seems the PT's reformist model of left wing politics is reaching its limits. Topic. Socialist and Social Democratic Parties in Brazil Topic. Major The following parties have more than 350,000 members Workers' Party Brazilian Social Democratic Party Democratic Labour Party Brazilian Socialist Party Socialist People's Party Communist Party of Brazil Topic. Minor The following parties have less than 350,000 members and, amongst them, only the Socialism and Liberty Party is represented in the Chamber of Deputies Socialism and Liberty Party Brazilian Communist Party Free Homeland Party United Socialist Workers' Party Workers' Cause Party Topic. Non-registered The following parties are not legally recognized by the Superior Electoral Court and, therefore, are not allowed to participate in elections Revolutionary Communist Party Marxist-Leninist Communist Party parties which have adopted third-way politics the Socialist People's Party is the ex-communist PCB, which has regrouped into a smaller party. References External links Mundo do Socialismo, Socialismo no Brasil in Portuguese Cronologia do Utopismo e Socialismo no Brasil in Portuguese